This is the Ab Stadium, the home of the Shots. Please welcome the match officials and the players of the Woking and all the Shots on! The big two. <laughs> what a tremendous job he's doing, Rob. Yeah, been superb all season. Appeals for an offside, not given. Woking exchanging on the left-hand side. Rowe gets there with Amund, it's half cleared and then Kellerman sends it over the line. So it was a good bit of play from Woking to keep it in play. And Kellerman made the right run, but he'd gone beyond the near post and it was very difficult to try and get anything on target from there, John, wasn't it? It was, but it was a good move. 13 minutes gone, nil-nil. Reese Brown on the edge of the foreign and third. Good win back from Ince. Reese Brown, uh, Oyeliki breaking forward, plays a little ball inside and the shot comes in from Amon, is saved by the feet of Van Stappershire. Shot from distance from Woking, slight deflection on it, behind for a goal kick to Aldershot. Cross back to Glover. Glover now running across the edge of the penalty area and looking for Stuart O'Keefe. He tries a little clip ball in. Frost sends it towards the goal. And it was a clever idea. It was a little bit high and a little bit wide. But what Frost did was he, he put it in an area close to the target. Farnborough have taken the lead at Haven and Waterlooville in the 10th minute and it's shots striker on loan, Hadi Gandur, who's got the goal for Farnborough. Here at the EBB, we still await the first goal. We're in the 19th minute. Cross in from the left. Header down is just wide, just wide from, uh, I think, Reese Brown. John Moore will confirm. Yeah, Reese Brown it was. It was another great opportunity for the cards. Great work by Denon Lewis over on that left-hand side. Dinked cross and Brown has to hit the target. Aldershot have been pretty impressive here at the EBB this season. And uh, they've only lost the two games, but they haven't really been able to... Uh, assert much authority in the opening 19 minutes of this game. We'll go for an update to Dawkins in just a moment, but here's Denna Lewis coming down the left-hand side. He's going up against Rowe, squares it, shots foot, makes connection, Monoga, and now Harrys will clear forward. And uh, Odessina just gets there in front of Tolaj. That won't please the shots manager. He just waited for it and uh, Odessina wanted it. Denna Lewis with a curler. And right to the last moment, you thought Jordi Van Stappershoff was going to catch that, but he decided to push it away from goal. What was your thoughts on that, John? Well, I thought he should have caught it. Yeah. I was amazed. But Certainly a late change of mind, but a very positive one. He really did deflect it quickly and strongly out to the left touch line. But Lewis, with another effort on goal for yeah, Woking. moment, just that frost header over. And Stokes back heel not quite working. Ball through the middle, bounces kindly for Barham, turns it around the corner to Tolaj. He's looking to get in the air, he is in the air, shot. Ooh, a cross goal and just wide. The first opportunity for Laurent Tolaj to pull the trigger on that left foot that we know so much about. Day derby between all shot down and Woking. Glover plays it to Stokes. Cute little bit of play, tries to get his crossing, but that's blocked. He now goes back to Glover. Glover tries to get a cross in and that's blocked gives it back to Stokes Stokes inside to Harfield he's got room if he wants to have a shot he does he curls one he's parried Tolaj follows up and O'Keefe oh offside it's in the net somehow Tolaj and O'Keefe three times between them eventually got it over the line but because one had touched it onto the other the flag's gone up it's offside frustration around for the shots but I can only concur both players were on the goal line. O'Keefe, he should have just put it over the line, but it deflected up in the air. Um, Tolaj there as well. And then when it eventually went across the goal line, John, it was considered a pass. Absolutely. You know, Woking got out of jail there, really. It all came about because they switched off from the corner. Caught by Alexis Andre Jr. Came well off his line there and caught that on the six-yard box. And he's bowled it out to Manny Oyeliki, who's fed Reese Brown. And Brown plays a ball down the left channel to Denon Lewis. This could be dangerous here. Sends the ball into the area. Halffield does brilliantly to get there first and put it behind for a corner. More good work from the shot. Woking shots. continue to knock on the door. They take this corner short between Oyeliki and Brown. Back with Oyeliki now. Advances towards his man, finds Brown. Is Brown going to try a shot from distance? Horrible deflection on it. And on this occasion, it goes kindly for all the shot. 
and Rowe clears his lines. But then there's a back heel from Oyaliki to Brown. He's down by the byline, up against Frost. Back into Casey, inside the penalty area. Turns it inside. And now Aldershot might, and they might get a shot woken. They do from Oyaliki. And Van Stapershoef sees it clearly and gets down to his left. Shot on target for Woken, and it might be the first one for either side in the second half, John. Yeah, a couple of half chances. I think you're lucky he'll be a bit disappointed, really. He didn't get more on it. He went for placement more than power. But they've, they've been functional, and they've kept the scoreline at nil-nil. Here's Josh Stokes looking for a ball uh, to split the Woken defence. Now he tries it, finds Tolad. He's got the ball, trying his left foot. Distance shot, brilliant, brilliant shot, brilliant save. He just checked Tolad and then he let fly and we know what he can do. But Alexis Andre Jr. was up to it, John Moore. Yeah, it was a great save. Left footed. In swinger. In it comes. And Glover again is first up and heads it away. And uh, Tolad looks to find Barham. Can't find him, but the ball comes back to Tolad and then bounces kindly for shots. Stokes gets it on the inside left channel. All shot with the counter. Frost's in the middle if Glover can get it in. Glover pulls it back. Kwame Thomas cleared off the line incredibly. And follow-up shot from Tolaj goes over the bar. And I don't know how Kwame Thomas has not scored there, John Moore. Well, he missed an absolute city. You've got to give credit to the keeper, but really he should have buried it. That was the chance of the game. And this game is finally opening up and we may yet get a break of the deadlock. Oh, here's Barham, inside the penalty area, right side, squares it, and it's cleared off the line. Tolladge has missed it somehow! And Tolladge's miss is almost as clear-cut as Thomas's, but he's pulled it wide on his left foot, 12 yards out. I cannot believe it. 71 minutes gone, nil-nil, John Moore. Oh, goodness me, another glorious opportunity gets burned by all the shot. You know, it came from a mistake by the Woking centre back. He does come in late again and gets a little bit of contact on it and forces Woking backwards. And Casey can make his way over the halfway line. And uh, comes inside to Oyaliki, who finds Dan Moss in a bit of space on the right hand side. He Gives it uh, now out to the right inside. The cross comes in. Shot is blocked on the line brilliantly, I think, by Van Stapperscherf. And uh, while well, he was well positioned, and another chance goes begging, this time for Woking. And uh, they build again down the right hand side with Amond. He goes back to Moss, trying to get his cross in, but Glover's brilliantly got his feet in there and works to it the back cards. On. 82 minutes on the clock. In it comes deep to the far post, headed back across goal. Big leap, half cleared. Bit of a scramble, cleared off of a Woking player, goal kick to the shots. The ball bounced off him. Harfield, can he see Minogga on the right-hand side? I think Minogga's offside again. No, it's not given this time. Takes the ball under control, skips onto his right foot, squares it for Tolad. Tolad's a good first touch, onto his right now, then back onto his left. And then the shot is saved, slightly parried by Andre Junior, and Stokes was ready to pounce, but he gathered it in well. And the Woking goalkeeper has played his part this afternoon, John Moore. Yeah, he has, but good work from Tallard. And Woking have got a free kick. Oyaliki is going to take it, right-footed, in from the left. Headed half clear, as far as Ollie Scott. He helps it on. Will the referee bring proceedings to an end? Oh, Andre Jr. has completely missed the ball, but it's fallen kindly to Dan Moss. And the final whistle goes. And we've had something we didn't expect this afternoon. A draw, and we certainly, John Moore, didn't expect it to be goalless. Nil-nil. No, we didn't. It was an absorbing game. Woking really bossed the first half. Should have been 2-0 up. All the shot inevitably came back into the game in the second half, and they also had two fabulous opportunities which they didn't take. I would say overall a draw really is a fair result. I think both sides would be reasonably happy.